Super Barb still picking off. Percent. Don't swag RC. Don't do it. Don't do it. Vincenzo. Don't do it. Don't do it. I see you, Vincenzo. <laughs> Vincenzo over here, RC. Who needs an RC? Dude, did a dirty. All right, so we are in Hurricane Cup now. WVB Space versus Second Esport. Got Lucio Bomber, Simons, Vincenzo, and Sim versus Bominator, Sax, Brune, Jacob, and Dam. Good luck, have fun. Are we reading for space? Hmm, let's see. The overlay says World Base Building. Uh, yeah. Simons, let's go. Let's get it going, space. Let's see it. Uh, we got, oh, we got the, the mass super barbs. A very, very, very <clears throat> different strat compared to Sarge super barbs. This takes a lot of precision. Using those super barbs to make the hero dive even bigger. Okay, gonna blimp out scatter shot. Okay, CC somewhat getting pulled. It's mostly just a few archers though. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Got those ice golems out so now that queen can deal with them. Super Barbs again, doing great work, making sure the heroes just have to worry about taking on the big stuff, none of the small stuff. <clears throat> Nothing else happening. Okay, we're going to be sitting here for a little bit while these ice golems slow queen down quite a bit. And last one, there we go. <clears throat> okay, Queen deals with storage and then goes into the expo compartment. Nice. Gotta be careful about how many troops he drops as well. Making sure that Eagle doesn't get activated too early. Coco Loon goes in. Making sure the healers don't get picked off too badly. Also decides to throw down some more loons. Ah, finds a black mine. Very nice. Alright, Eagle's now activated. Raged up his Queen. Ooh, go down. Nice. Okay, Unicorn's down. Loses that healing potential. Got an for Queen. Ah, lost ability. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Those rage defenses, man. They just, they turn on you in an instant. Got the jump down for Queen. Had to invest the invis a little early. Okay, good choice there to freeze the monolith. Warden's Tome now. Try to get Queen. Monolith. Move up. Move up. There we go. Finally. Again, she does not have her ability. He has two rages, though, and a freeze, so he can reset whatever defense he wants. Queen should be able to get the hall down, I think, no problem. The key is when this pops. Chooses to freeze the hall. Queen is raged. I think a good choice there. Secures the hall. That's because even though he's got raged expos target area, he has another rage here to make sure that Queen stays alive. Warden is helping, and he's outside the poison range, which really helps. RC now dealing with defenses. Ha <laughs> Queen! Come on, deal with the... Ah, darn it. All right, Warden. On you now. Dog on that Poison Tower Rage Tower. Absolutely super powerful. Still with a bunch of Super Barbs. RC can get some work done. The hard part now really is time. I think it's a hit that has enough damage, just not enough time now. Had to take too long setting up with the Triple Ice Golem CC. Bummer. Come on. Ten seconds. It's a good try, it's just not fast enough. Come on, four seconds. Ah, it hurts. It hurts. Bummer. Ah, oh, Simon, such a good hit. Saxon, all right, Simon's 99% two star. Now about to defend. So Queen Charge, recall Twin Hogs. Oh, finds the Teslas. Opens up the wall a little bit more for Queen, but now has to invest quite a bit in making sure Queen goes after the hall. He does not want her to walk. Queen going for a stroll here. Oh, Queen's going to stroll. You got to invest more on those on those defenses. She's going she's, she's to walk. Yep, yes, I throw in some hog for sure. 
Timing good. Yep, invis to make sure she goes in. All right, so that's a lot of investment more than he wanted for Queen to go in. Oh, and the Skellies and the CC slowing down Queen. She can't shoot the hall until all those go down. OP has to invest a freeze, so a lot more he had to throw in to get that Town Hall value. Wow, that was a lot. That was a lot more than what he wanted. All right, well, let's see. Still with two rages, a heal, and a freeze. <clears throat> Drill gets set up with Giant. Gets going right away. These hog... Oh, he's got to be careful with these hog raiders. Okay, no, they're, they're flying pretty true here. Flying pretty true down the middle here. Rage now. Warden's Tome is popped. Queen is just... Queen just doing queen things, you know? Like, you see queen and you're just like, what are you doing? <coughs> Alright, the Hog Riders. They're in the core with the heal. Nato Trap pulls them away. So King now getting set up. RC at some point already got thrown. How did I miss RC getting thrown in? My goodness, I look away. And RC has already been done and dusted. Where on earth did RC go down? This is a crazy good defense because Diggy's over here. Diggy over here just straight chilling. Not even supporting Queen. He just straight up runs away from Queen. What on earth? Oh, there's his RC right there. So she went in right away with the Twin Hogs and then Diggy just went off to do his own thing. My goodness, great defense. Sheesh. So Simon's over here with a 99% two-star attack, but a go to defense. Very good. Gonna finish. I mean, I'm assuming Phoenix can't get this down. Yeah, 71%. GG's, great defense. All right, Sam. Also... Queen charge with four invises. There's gotta be a, a blizz in here somewhere, right? Gotta be a blizz in here. A uh, Sui. Sorry, it's Sui Twin Hogs. There are no healers. All right, loons do their thing. Skelly, do am I blind? I'm blind. I'm absolutely blind. It's Skelly Donut. Oh my gosh. I've only seen this attack strategy done like 80 times. My gosh, Iron's blind today, guys. Sorry. Get CC down. Get Sweeper down. My goodness. I'm assuming there was a core Inferno Tower there because there's not one there anymore. Oh my gosh. Iron's blind today, guys. It is Skelly Donut Twin Hogs. Skelly, what do they call it? Skelly Bacon Donut? Is that what, is that what people call it nowadays? <laughs> All right, anyway. Flame Flea are getting some great work done. King and Queen in. I'm just over here slapping myself mentally. <laughs> oh gosh. I made a great, great dive here. In for King. Gonna secure the Town Hall with Queen. Queen will go after air defense and then Town Hall. That's it. Oh, okay, Queen says nah. Nah, that Town Hall looks too dangerous. What? Queen just says catch you later. What on earth? Alright, the town hall is not getting repaired, but now he's got to invest something on it. I think he has to invest RC on it. My goodness. Queen just straight up turned around and said, nope. Wow. Alright. So what's the plan here? Got a bunch of archers to help with Flame Flinger, but Flame Flinger's going to go down here and say, ha, archers go after the store. <sighs> wow. Alright, again, the town hall is not getting repaired. All right, now RC can freeze the hall, take it down real quick, and then rejoin. Maybe get in Warden's Tome. Nah, I can't get in there fast enough. Not with all the defenses targeting the Twin Hogs. Can't can't afford RC maybe getting into the radius of Warden's Tome and lose all the Hog Riders. All right, Poison Tower drops. Gonna slow everything down that goes into its radius. This expo, these two expos right here, man, super annoying. I wonder if the Donut was supposed to get this expo as well. But did get CC and Inferno Tower. A couple of cleanup troops left to drop. Last heal spell has been dropped. Man, Eagle is just wasting away. Bummer. Tough, tough, tough base. Queen again. Having to run away though. Ugh. As always, Queen's doing Queen things today. In all the wars that we streamed. Crazy. 
All right, Sam. Good try. 76%. Tough, 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 tough. All right, Brun in on Bomber. Let's see the defense, Bomber. Let's go. Whoa. This is like... <laughs> it's just so... It's like 14 loons. My goodness. So many loons there to avoid having to use Warden ability for this arch. Oh, found NATO trap. Gonna pull some of them away. Are they still in the... They're still in the radius, though. Wow. Couldn't quite pull them out of the radius. Got one super wizard as well. For the extra chain value. Alright, we're trying to pick off as much as possible. The fact that King is down is super useful. CC has been pulled as well. Pretty inconsequential CC for the Hydra. Gonna mess with the heroes though, for sure. Alright, what next? What next? King now gonna pull them all over. <clears throat> Doesn't have an E-Titan or anything. I mean, it was decent value from the search, I think. Not too bad. Okay, Hydra getting going. He throws in the dragons first, though. Okay, RC and Warden all in there. Hero's going to kind of reconverge together with the Hydra, but no wall breaking options. So I don't know how they're going to get to Eagle. Going to have to depend on the Hydra getting there all by itself, and the heroes will all run around the outside of the base. The loons are heading a great way, though. Good work with the Dragon Riders. I mean, he's almost just a spectator at this point. Well, t I mean, every single dragon went away, though. Eagle is down, which is super useful. Air Sweeper down. Okay, Queen is in the core of the base now. Waiting to invest this baby dragon for some reason. You could drop it here on this wizard tower outside the range of the air defense. And get the Hydra to curl in and help Queen out. Okay, Queen Pop's ability to take down RC and Tesla, but she won't be able to get much further than that. She'll go after the tanky the gold storage here. 44 seconds left again, holding on to that baby dragon with all he's got. Air defense is now targeting the dragons. Good to drop the baby dragon here, get the dragons going after the air defense. Okay. All right, it's gonna be a defense, but nothing else for time. Too many defenses in the back end with all these air defenses. This would have been a good base, I think, maybe to Queen Charge Recall, but it'll finish off at 79%. Good defense, Palmer. Vincenzo is in. All right, Loons, Warden, and Blimp. Gonna go for a deep Blimp. This Sweeper will be the only annoying one. No freezes, so let's see how he times it here. Side down the bot here a little bit. There we go. Lovely. Looks like a great spot here. Warden even coming in. Oh, you love it when Warden joins the party. You love it when Warden comes in to say, hey, let me get in on this action. So now he can actually start picking off some of these CC troops too. That's awesome. Warden like one shotting the rocket loons. Super nice. Yeah, push Warden back. Keep him back. Keep him <laughs> there you go. He goes back to clear us some trash. Oh my gosh. All right, Hero Dive getting started. Ice Golem going to get popped here in just a second because holy damage from that monolith. And he was able to save three spells too. Two invis, one rage. That's awesome. Great, Super Bars can go after the Eagle Artillery now. This is awesome. A great setup from Vicenzo. And Warda did some great work too. RC can get started up on the, the north side of the base, I reckon. Don't listen to me, I like to say things out loud. You, you do you, Vicenzo. This is looking like a phenomenal setup. Still with 16 Super Barbs. Rage Tower does pop, but King has Phoenix. He could take shots all day long from those Rage defenses. Queen, if you shoot a wall, 
Oh, she's, thank goodness. She decides to run around the wall. Thank goodness. Super Barb still picking off. Perse Don't swag RC. Don't do it. Don't do it. Vincenzo! Don't do it! Don't do it! I see you, Vincenzo! <laughs> Vincenzo over here, RC! Who needs an RC? Dude, did a dirty! Alright, now defense, Vincenzo. Crazy up. Put your, put your uh, extra RC on defense now. <laughs> Alright, you got Zap Titans. Okay, Warden getting started first. Two mortars over here. Good placement. He could throw down Flame Flinger here in just a minute, too. Holy value. That was... That was a lot. That was a lot taken down. Now, granted, that takes seven zaps to get Eagle down. If my math is correct. So that does take up one less spell space. So now he just has two rages and a jump. The Ice Golem, of course, will act as a freeze spell, and the healers will act as healing. Baby Dragon helped do some damage there. Okay. Interesting placement for Queen. Okay, but he's using Log Launcher. Okay, okay. I was mega confused. Uh, hello? Titans just said, no! Nah. We like where King's going more. This is already a go to defense. The E Titans walk. No way that's the plan. Wow. Wow. With one rage left, can CC Queen Warden Healers get the town hall? He's got the jump down. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if this was the plan. It doesn't feel like it should have been the plan. Queen still has ability though, so she can snipe out this hall if she gets on it. Alright, it's gonna turn into a decent two star here. Where's RC gonna go? Alright, RC's in on the mortar. Ooh. The Queen had to invest her ability on the hall, I believe. RC is just getting. I mean, she's getting work done, I'm not gonna lie. Got cleanup wizard started. Goblins are mega annoying. I just feel like it's, it's. I just feel like it could not have been the plan. That's too much heat for Queen and, and King to take. Not Queen and King, but Queen and uh, Warden to take in the core. I think he just dropped his E Titans either too late to go with Queen and Warden, or too early before King could really set a direction for him. Wow, great defense, Vincenzo. Great work. OP cracked his heat. See, you put your leftover RC on this defense. I see you, Vincenzo. I see you. You told her, take a break on offense. Help me out on defense a little bit. <laughs> Lucio, let's go. Queen, charge, twin hogs. Rocking the drill as well. Got a Valkyrie. Okay, Lucio. I see you with the... The ground set up here. Finds the Teslas too, which is phenomenal. Flame Flame will be able to take those down no problem. I mean, golly. Valkyrie did some scout work. Sheesh. Got Baby Dragon and Loons in the north. Picking off perimeter defenses as well. Okay, Queen, take on this mortar. Come on. Come on, my dear. Oh, King getting set up over there, too. Making sure all that trash is cleared out for Queen. Oh, nice. Great use of the Skelly spell, too. The tank for Monolith. It also distracts CC. Queen may need a freeze and or invis in a moment. She's doing great work dealing on the CC. Which... Oh, the CC was running away to go after the Flame Flinger? Where, where were those ice golems going? Great work not invising them, by the way. Town Hall is down. Because the CC was not targeting Queen, she had the opportunity to shoot down the Town Hall. So he freezes Monolith while Queen deals with the 
Dagon Ice Squalls. Now she can finish off the Monolith once this freeze is all done. Still has the Rage there. Wow, what a great setup. Queen and Flame Flinger absolutely rocking it right now. Even though Flame Flinger is getting targeted now, the amount of work that this Flame Flinger has done, I think he chose to pop it there to get the Hog Riders going. Headhunters in the tank. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, again, Queen is just absolutely annihilating this base. I don't know where his Hog Riders all went because I was so distracted by the Queen Charge. Pops Warden's Tome now. We're trying to think about how this attack fails. And I really can't think of it. <laughs> it was so well set up. I mean, Flame Flinger got so much work done. He's got the cleanup troops in. I feel like this attack also had like six minutes to get to be completed. Queen, go into the core here. Go into these core defenses here. Even though RC is in there, there's so many tanky structures in there. GG's. Great work. Great hits. Great, great, great hits. Awesome work. Woohoo! Come on, 22 seconds. Come on! No way this time fails. Come on! Come on, Lucia! No! Come on! You're kidding! Stop it with these high percentage time fails! Ah! Oh, GG's though. Great hit. Alright, Abominator. It would have been so poetic had Abominator gone in on, on Bomber. Come on. Come on. Alright, we got the... I'm assuming Super Minion Bomb. Hydra. For generic reasons, do we just call it Clone Hydra? Is that, is that what we're going with here? But Ninja, tell me in chat what I'm missing, dude. You say something's missing. Going with the Hound to send the Super Minions in. I think they dropped too far away. Let's we'll see. They target the hall. No, they get it. They get it. Don't know why. It just looked like it was too far away. All right, now they start drifting into the poison. They do take on Enemy King, though. That's a great time saver, if nothing else. Okay, clearing out a ton of... They can just sit here for a little while, clearing out a ton of trash. Can't sit too long on this, though. All right, he's waiting for that value. Can they get that expo down? They should. Nice. Now with a clear direction here for his Hydra to go. All right, rocking and rolling. He has one head enter he can throw in to take on enemy queen. Queen is just it just picking off those loons. The Hydra charges it. <laughs> I swear. The Daga Dragon Riders charge ahead and get taken down by Monolith. He doesn't pop Warden's Tome to protect him there. I mean, I feel like he got pop Warden's Tome here. I mean, all of these defenses here going at it. Super hardcore here at the Hydra and finds NATO Trap behind the Town Hall. Whew. CC Ice Golem's trying to chase his king. Probably probably gonna catch him up here in a second. There you go. He does take down the He does take down the Archer Tower, but now gets caught up by the Ice Golems. Queen trying her best to take on a bunch of defenses, but this Eagle has been working hard this entire defense. Lucio. Nice defense. Let's go. Great defense. Well done. Alright, let's see what percentage it turns into. Queen ability pops. He has Headhunter, but RC is too far away, I think, for Queen to get there and give her any kind of threat. Alright, 85%. GG's. Let's go, Bomber. Rocking Zap Titans, are we? Okay. Okay. Warden in. Flame Flinger going to pick off some defenses. Hmm. He likes his Warden to get beat up, though, first. <laughs> Holy damage. 
Lizard gets wasted. Defenses get zapped out. Expo and Inferno Tower. Yeah, Rage Tower a bit too far away. Unfortunate. All right, but anyway, Five Finger get a lot of defenses down though, including of course Eagle. He set up a jump. Oh, hopefully it's good enough. Oh no! These Titans today. They go for a stroll. Oh, goodness. Goodness. All right, well, King's going to have a ton of support here going after the Town Hall. Please tell me this is on purpose. The healers do transfer, though. So Queen has, I think, two healers on her, and I think the Titans have three on them. Still has Warden's Tome that he could drop. Especially while they're going through the core here, not a bad idea. That radius for Warden is nice. Okay, so he drops Warden's Tome there. Are the E-Titans still going? Okay, there's still a couple of E-Titans going. Mega confusing are these E-Titans today. So E-Titan now tanking for RC. What are these E-Titans doing? They're just acting like giants and golems today. Queen, take on the monolith, hurry. Okay, very good. So Warden lives. Healers are not getting poisoned up. Okay, this attack has a chance. Eagle is down. Flameflinger is still doing work. Tesla gets shot up. Flamethrower could take down one more defense with how much health it has left at the very least. I'm gonna go after Builder Set, that's fine. Anything Flameflinger gets down is one less thing to target his heroes that are left. Bomber. Looking solid. No time fail chance here. Come on, Bomber. RC ability has been thrown. Queen still ha was she in the NATO trap, or am I, am I hallucinating that she was moonwalking? She had to have been a NATO trap, right? I wasn't looking. CC does pop. Super nice hit. Bomber. GG space. Great work. All right, Dan, wrapping it up for second eSport. The mass super hogs. Let's see it. Let's go. It's a Sui mass super hogs, too. Oh my, oh my, oh my, so much tank. So Sneakies clear out collector trash, Yetis and Ice Golems and E-Titan tanking for Queen and King. Apprentice Warden is in there as well, Log Launcher to open up all these compartments. For King and Queen to push through, Poison Spell and of course E-Titan will help take on the super minions who are down. Can they open up that wall there for Monolith? They sure do, and they're damaging Monolith too to get the builders busy. King did pop ability, so Phoenix will go here in just a second. Unfortunately, King is stuck on a wall. Queen clearing out a ton of defenses, though on the left side. Hog Riders going in. Nothing to keep them from, hopefully they don't go for the Wizard Tower as opposed to, the, uh, well, Monolith goes down. Queen 2 OP. So now he's got to think about taking down this archer tower so that way he makes sure his hog go after the hall. The hall will get activated as a defense as soon as he hit 50%, which will be just a moment. Okay, so he preemptively froze the hall. Very nice. Rage's RC, Warden's Tome. Wow, that hall just got blasted. Jeez. Actually, a really, really nicely done plan. A big, like, kill squad super hog attack is what we would call it. Wow. No more healing power. Heal spell did great work right there through the town hall poison. I mean, there's a ton of cleanup there. They can get pretty far with an invis and a freeze and warden boosting them. A couple of cleanup troops as well to give it a little bit more power. Yep, drops that extra wizard. He still has another wizard that he can throw down, and he does. So he still has a couple of defensive targeting hog riders. A lot of them, though, are just targeting cleanup buildings. RC gets the value of the freeze. Still has the invis and her ability. This is triple. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Great hit. Cracked Freak, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Great hit. Swag RC ability. Swag invis. A great finish for, for a second eSport. Finish strong on a triple. You love to see it. Bombers triple put it out of reach, but hey, this is a great way to wrap up. Ha! <laughs> Throws down the invis to troll his own troops. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Well done.
from second Eastport there to wrap up with a triple. Great work. But too many good defenses and offensive hits for WB Space to lose. Great win. Let's go.